What's up, Samonix, and welcome back to a really, really quick, quick win today, because we're talking about virtual scroll. So, with Ionic version 6, the native Ionic component for implementing virtual scroll will be deprecated, so we have to find a different solution for the future. Uh, quick recap, virtual scroll means you have a list of items. Um, this is really helpful for a list of a lot, really, really a lot of items. Basically having like thousands of items in a list where you don't want to immediately render uh, all of those thousand items at the same time. Because virtual scroll will only render what's visible and a few more at the bottom or at the top. And while you scroll, it will reuse the components and just render the new component in uh, your item or whatever you got. So you got a lot better performance, it will load a lot faster and it's overall recommended if you're working with long lists of data. Uh, just a quick note, it's different from infinite scroll, that component still exists within Ionic. So that is the component where you at the bottom uh, reach the end of the list and then it triggers a function to reload more. That is more helpful if you have some sort of pagination within your API. So today we will implement virtual scroll. We will use a cool component from the Angular component dev kit. It will be really easy to integrate and you will see it is a perfect replacement for the Ionic virtual scroll component. If you want to check out the code, link below the video for all Ionic Academy members. And if you're not yet a member of the Ionic Academy, what are you doing here? Go check it out, ionicacademy.com, my place to help you with everything Ionic. So today, let's implement a virtual scroll with the Angular component dev kit. All right, let's get started with our application. The only thing we need today is a blank new Ionic application and the package Angular CDK. Angular CDK stands for Component Dev Kit and it's basically a package you usually see with Angular Material. So if you wanna use any kind of those uh, elements from Angular Material, um, especially these, uh, you're gonna import the Angular Dev Kit. And within the dev kit, there's actually a component for scrolling that handles virtual scrolling. So that's the part that we previously just did with Ionic. So after you've installed this, uh, you can just close this and bring up Ionic Surf. I already did this. Um, so here's my blank application, just changed the header color, but that's not really important. And then you go ahead and import the package. Um, you're gonna import that package in uh, the page where you need it. So in my case, I'm gonna put it into the home page, import scrolling module from Angular CDK scrolling. And of course, add it to the uh, imports. That's basically everything uh, for the general setup. Now let's take a look uh, at a little example. Um, we're gonna create a simple array. Let's just say we have some items here. We're gonna set this to an empty array in the beginning. And within our constructor, uh, we're gonna say this dot items equal array from, uh, how many items do we wanna use? Um, perhaps let's start with 500. And for all of them, we're just gonna map them, uh, index, and then we're gonna just set the text item um, i. Ooh. I think, yeah, I used, thanks for making this look very interesting. And now we got that fixed. So this will give us a little item. Yeah, of course, forgot the snippet <laughs> to print out something. Um, I really just used this a few times and then I didn't like the rocket that automatically appeared in my log. So we got a nice array of 500 items with that content. Let's try and use a regular uh, ion list for this before we see the implementation of something else. Um, so therefore we're gonna use an ion list and within ion item ng4 let item of items. And then for each item, are we also gonna use an avatar and a label? Let me quickly bring this in. So that could look like this. This will just give us a, a random image and this will print out the text. So now we should see our scrollable list with 500 items. And if you load this on a device, you're actually gonna notice that 
It takes uh, a few seconds to load this, and these are just 500 pretty simple items. Uh, you could have a lot bigger items, and then it would get a lot more complicated. Now, let's change this to a virtual list using the component we just installed. And you're going to start that adventure by creating a new CDK virtual scroll viewport. That's basically the area in which the virtual scroll happens. Now we can just put our ion list into that viewport and instead of using ng4 we're going to use CDK virtual 4. So those are the only two changes. As a result, we won't see anything. Um, uh, we also got one error. Let's fix that first. Requires the item size property to be set. That's a quite reasonable uh, error because uh, to make virtual scroll really work great, uh, you should set the height of an item. With Ionic, usually an item has a size of 56. If you have some kind of card in there, some custom item, of course, your height is going to be different. Um, so make that pretty close to the estimated height of your items. Once you do this, uh, Virtual Scroll is able to figure out how many items should be rendered uh, or what's the height for one item. Right now, we don't see anything. Uh, that's pretty easy to fix because you're going to have to give the CDK virtual scroll viewport a specific height to cover. So in our case, we're going to start with 100% and with the same. So it should fill the whole screen. As a result, we see four items rendered. Now, we, we will be able to fix that. Um, because I don't know what the default settings look like uh, for the virtual scroll, but you can specify now the minimum and the maximum buffer pixel. That means how many items should be buffered uh, at the same time. Right now it's perhaps uh, a small number which means uh, I will just render these six items and that's enough. But if you set it to 900 you're gonna have about like yeah whatever 18 items 17 items something like that and the maximum means uh, how many because we're gonna fill the screen perhaps with a 900 already but we want to have a few more at the bottom so we have a better effect. Let's hit save and see again and we see we got the list with the item and now we can scroll very fast and you will notice that for a short moment we don't see anything there because the items are now reused. Basically we have 17, whatever, what's 900 divided by 56, 16 items uh, and yeah, well, that fits pretty good. Um, and those items will be reused once we scroll the items at the top out of the view. It will just render the new content in those items. So you should play around with those values to make it fit your case. Um, that is for now the, the basic idea of the virtual scroll. You wrap your stuff inside of the virtual scroll viewport. You define the size and the buffer, uh, so how many items should be in the memory, and then you replace the, your ng4 with CDK virtual 4. That's the whole magic. Now, I want to show you, well, two, three little additional things because I'm pretty sure you're gonna uh, ask about that. So with CDK virtual 4, you can still use the same uh, kind of things that you're used to, the same properties from ng4, like odd, index, even, first, last. Um, you could use all of that. Um, let's just use them, these for now, and we're gonna set to the ion item a class odd uh, is odd. Uh, so every other item should get a different background. That's just something basic, pretty easy to implement. You're gonna see it works across our list, even with the reused items. Um, on top of that, we can do more. So I wanted to show you how you can scroll to a specific item because I know uh, some of you will be interested in that. So I'm gonna add a row with a search bar and a button to call the function scroll to index. And we just now define the scroll to variable in here and just set this to null in the beginning. And then uh, we're gonna add a view child. We're gonna add the view child to access our viewport because usually when we wanna manually scroll, we call the ion list uh, view child or something like that. 
um, but that won't really work in this case. Instead, we're gonna use the view child CDK virtual scroll viewport. Of course, if you have multiple of them, you might have to use them by their template reference, um, but in our case, that should be fine. And once we got that, we can check, um, let's say if this dot scroll to is bigger than minus one, we're gonna call this dot viewport scroll to index and we see it has basically the same functionality as to scroll a list from code. We're gonna pass in an index that will be our scroll to value and we can have a behavior. It's usually set to automatic but we can also use smooth. Um, disclaimer smooth is usually not working on uh, iOS inside the Safari or the WK web view implementation. But that's all we need for now. So let's try and add whatever 200. That item is definitely not yet rendered, but we can still scroll from code to that. And by using smooth, you see it's scrolling uh, smooth to that one. Um, if I would remove this to auto, it would most likely um, immediately show that item. So let's give this a try. Yeah, there we go, immediately jumping to 100. Also, I implemented uh, in the background this select item function. Um, let's just for now add this to our ion item. So this just shows the toast for the item. I just wanna show you that uh, you can really use anything you're used to on the item, tappable click select item. And then this will print item four. I could jump to 250 item whatever so it definitely works you can still use track by uh, as far as i know um, but so far this already works good the only thing that's not correct right now is we got a scroll bar here and we got a scroll bar here that's because we specified that the height should be a hundred percent now if i check out the height of this ion row it's something like 68 so we could change the height to be something like Kellogg. Yeah, of course, Kellogg, 100% minus 68. And if we do it like that, uh, yeah, the second scroll bar is gone and we're now back again. So if you have any other elements in your view, you might have to change the height of the virtual scroll according to that. But otherwise, uh, we've now our virtual scroll, really just install the component, import it in the module, and then you're ready. You can easily uh, replace your existing lists and items by just wrapping it inside the virtual scroll viewport, check out your usual size for the item, and play around with different values. Um, I highly recommend you play uh, or test this out on a device because inside the browser uh, on a good computer, it has usually a good performance. So definitely also check this out on a device and see how it behaves on your device and then play around a bit with those values. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this really short format of a quick win uh, because in the past we had videos with 60 minutes, now we have this uh, about 10 to 50 minutes uh, with a laser focus on one small topic. Let me know if you wanna see more of these shorter videos in the comments and I'm sure we'll find a lot of topics to talk about in a more condensed format. Otherwise, I hope this video helps you to convert your Ionic 5 uh, applications or version 6 apps for the future to use Angular Virtual Scroll. I think it is a smart move because Ionic doesn't have to implement that component since we got native solutions for Angular, React and other frameworks already that, as you can see, work pretty well right out of the box with just minor changes. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for fresh Ionic videos coming every week. And I hope you have a great week and happy coding, Simon.